my name is Ember. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I play The Sims 4. And welcome back to my Sims 4 Rags to Riches speedrun. Now I've done videos on a lot of scenarios, but the very first scenario that I started was the making money scenario and I still have not finished it. <laughs> now I know this is a speedrun and uh, most speedruns don't take multiple months, but I, I never intended this to be a like real time speedrun. It's more of a like in in the Sims game time speedrun, and I'm not I'm not doing horribly at that. We started on the first day of summer, so that means it's been 11 days that we've been doing this, and we already have 500,000 simoleons. So you know it's not too bad. My plan is to get to a million simoleons in this video. Uh, I'm assuming, you know, now that we have a little bit of money, it'll be easier to make more money, right? That's how that works. So if you're not caught up in the series, I will link a playlist. You can go and watch the previous videos if you'd like, but I'll also just give a little refresher of, you know, who everyone is, what we're doing here. So our first Sim, the one I guess who's really doing this scenario is Tiana. This is Tiana. She is a writer. That's like her primary thing. She also uh, has this giant garden over here. We're uh, gardening quite a bit of things. We also have a money tree. So yeah, she makes most of her money by writing and gardening. And then she married Victor Fang for money and he turned out to be a really great person to marry because Victor is, well, when we married him, he was near the top of the politician career. Now he is uh, a national leader. So he makes quite a bit of money at his job and he also has the ability to ask for bribes and because his charisma is so high, he's able to convince people to join our household, which means we can steal their money. So we've earned a lot of our money that way. And then you'll notice we have a third member of our household, Cecilia Kang, who, well, we brought her in because we needed someone who could uh, talk to the animals, the bunnies and the birds and, you know, befriend them so that we could actually have their help on our garden because there's quite a lot of uh, plants to tend to on our own. But um, there's a little bit of drama here in that, well, so see, this is Victor's ex-wife, Lily. And then this is his new wife, Tiana. And you'll see he has about the same um, level of romance with Cecilia as well. <laughs> so in The Sims 4, there is a jealousy mechanic and we do have to be careful about that. Uh, Cecilia and Victor are sleeping in the bed right now. We also only have one bed because I wanted this to be a tiny home, like the smallest tiny home so that we could maximize our skill building and everything like that. So yeah, just, just one bed. So it is, it is useful that Victor has romance with both of these Sims because he can sleep with either of them. But there may be, we may have to worry about Tiana or Cecilia getting a little bit jealous. So hopefully we can avoid that. While these two are catching up on sleep, uh, I've had Tiana just do a little bit of writing trying to get another book done. Aliens don't need sunglasses. Great. And also one goal that I've had is to get Victor's fame level up. So Victor has been painting to make money as well. And I do have the selling table. I know that this like selling this thing is very good for making money from painting. But the problem is I don't know if that will give us fame in the same way that selling from here will. And I really want to get Victor's fame up because that will enable him to talk to more celebrities and then we can steal celebrities money too. So I kind of have my sight set on Judith Ward. I want to try to get Victor's fame up enough that we can uh, talk to Judith Ward, get her in our household, and steal all of her money. So we'll see how that goes. For now, uh, now that Victor's well rested, I'm gonna get him started on some more paintings. And the nice thing about this little tablet is you can just queue up a bunch of paintings and they'll just do all of them in a row, which is very nice. So we'll just queue up a few of those, get Victor started. And looks like Tiana is almost done with her book. So we can sell that to publisher as well. And then I'll probably have her come and tend to all of the plants because right around 6 a.m. is when everything grows and we can harvest. We're, we're at the point where we're making quite a bit of money from our crops as well. And this is the first video you're seeing that I recorded on my new computer. So hopefully things will go a lot quicker. I can actually like fast forward now and the video should work. And I'm hoping that the video quality will be a lot better as well. So that's exciting. It also means that if I have to go through loading screens, it won't take nearly as much time to record because those loading screens really eat up into my time when my computer takes like 10 minutes for every loading screen. Oh, it's Harvest Fest. We got some gnomes here. 
I don't know, is it worth it to appease the gnomes? They'll give us some plants. I guess that could be useful. All right, pretty much everyone likes coffee, so let's just give some coffee. Well, I'll let each of them. I'll let each of them appease the gnome. It's fine. Oh, okay, apparently that gnome does not like coffee. I could have sworn most of them like coffee, but I guess this one does not. All right, let's plead for forgiveness. Hopefully that goes well. Uh-oh. No, it's not good. Oh, dear. Yeah, this always happens. <laughs> great, great. Why are you going to talk to Mila? Um, well... Okay, that wasn't great, but we are very confident and we do have this whim uh, pin to make a wish. So we've had some luck with this wishing well. We've also had some, well, we've also had some bad luck with the wishing well, but let's just come, let's come make an offering. I think we're gonna do a thousand and let's make a wish for more money and see how that goes. <laughs> Since she is confident, I think confident is a good moodlet to talk to the wishing well with. Oh, good, okay. The wishing well is satisfied and more amenable to granting wishes. All right, our wish will be for simoleons. Here we go. Anything good? Okay. How much? Is it going to be worth it? What? Okay. Right, it's the thing where we can blackmail another sim. It didn't direct directly give us any money. But, well, here's Mila right here. So I guess we might as well come and blackmail Mila. I don't know if it makes sense to do a friendly introduction. We're about to blackmail her, but here we are. There's also a cute little bunny over here. <laughs> this one's named Richie. I forgot we named it that. Oh yeah, we can also take a gift. Might as well. Oh wait, no, she's leaving. Wait, no, don't, Mila, don't leave. Hold on. The whole the whole point was I was gonna blackmail you. It's probably under mean, right? Yeah, blackmail. Okay, we'll go do that if she doesn't run away. No, Mila, you can't leave. I'm trying to blackmail you. Hold on. She is not happy about this. See, this is this is the thing with the wishing well, right? It said it was amenable to granting our wishes, but we only earned seven ninety five from that, and we gave it a thousand. So, like, what's the point, huh? That's frustrating. It like I honestly can't figure out if it's actually worth it to wish on the wishing well or not. I'll have Cecilia try to appease a gnome and then maybe fix the shower. <laughs> um, Tiana, well, now that you did that, which was kind of pointless because it actually lost us money. Um, but we're just gonna come and harvest everything, I suppose. We have a lot of lilies, which is great. I'll just harvest everything and then we can sell it. No, you don't need to keep being mean to Mila, it's fine. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, we can sell our money fruit too. Okay, we're also gonna sell all of our money fruit. What? That the other gnome that Cecilia tried to appease is is upset too. Dang it. I might just sell the gnomes, honestly. We'll let Victor take a try and then we'll just sell them. And I'll let Tia Oh, there's an it's a new rabbit. This one's just named Wild Rabbit. Okay. Well we'll come and talk to the new rabbit then. See, does she have anything to gift? Okay, <laughs> we'll give a green bean. We'll also get a gift from this one, maybe? Because I know you can make quite a bit of money from gifting with rabbits, at the very least. Um, no, I don't want to join the renegades. I don't see how I'll make money from that. <laughs> we also have this money-making trash can, so we can earn a little bit of money from trash. But I don't think it's going to make much of a difference in our quest to earn a million simoleons. Ah, oh, Cecilia learned a cross-stitch pattern. We can't make money from that. Cross stitch is like really bad for making money in this game. Possibly in real life too. I think it's just like, it takes a long time and people aren't willing to pay enough for it. All right, here's our third time's the charm. Are we gonna appease this gnome? See, okay, good. That one was appeased. I'm gonna go ahead and sell the other two though so I can't uh, cause more damage. We'll get a little bit of money from that. Victor is flirty, which is actually kind of dangerous because you cannot flirt with either of these people. That is dangerous. Here, make a flirty painting instead. <laughs> oh yeah, Victor? Oh wait, didn't Victor have work? Oh, he's not going to work because it's a holiday. That's probably fine. He'll probably make more money painting, I guess. Um, Paolo wants him to become a secret agent. No way, we're at the top of the politician career. This is fine. <laughs> oh, we got 2,000 for- Oh yay, it's our book royalties. Great. Okay, 2,000's not bad. Yeah, I mean, we're already at 516,000. I don't even know where that all came from. I guess, oh yeah, I guess from our crops, probably. All right, now that Cecilia's done with that, I did have a, a job she's doing. She's also a freelance programmer. So we'll go ahead and finish that job and get a nice 7,000. I probably should have uh, Victor steal some people's money also, because that's really our biggest money maker. Oh yeah, I was gonna sell the crops that uh, Tiana harvested as well. So let's do that. We'll keep a few for fertilizing if need be. There you go, we got a nice 9,000 from that. <laughs> Victor's apparently decided to take up sculpting. Victor, that's not, um, you're, you're not really a high skill level in that. It's not particularly lucrative, but all right. Ooh, more trash, I can sell this. 
or I can, I can, I can compost it and make money from it or whatever that is. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many bunnies. None of them want to give me a gift though. Victor, seriously, why did you start this? <laughs> it's such a waste of time. I guess Tiana could make a grand meal. Or is it, is it even worth it? I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. Okay, there we go. All right, so Cecilia completed the job. We got 8,000 from that. I'll let Cecilia come and take care of her needs and stuff. And now, yeah, now Tiana can use the computer to do some writing, I think. We'll write another book. Um, let's do mystery. And then Victor needs some fun. I guess he can paint some more. I do still want to try to invite someone to our household to steal their money, but I guess that can wait. Victor has decided to do his painting in the bathroom, which is a bit inconvenient, but I guess they're fine. <laughs> fine. I'll have, I'll have Cecilia cook a grand meal. The, the happiness buff will possibly be worth it. What? Does Cecilia not like cooking either? What? No, she doesn't dislike cooking. Okay. You're fine, Cecilia. Oh, good. Victor still earned money on his holiday. That's useful. I don't know why his fun isn't going up, though, because, like, he does like painting. Oh, no. Cecilia and Tiana are both flirty right now. This is not good. And Victor is very playful, which is also a bit concerning, because if he gets hysterical, he could die. So let's, uh, let's be careful with that, Victor. Victor, why are you doing this? Stop. Stop making sculptures. You don't, you don't need to make sculptures. That's not how you earn money. All right. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna have Victor sell some of his paintings on this thing. Put it out here. And then maybe someone will come by who's rich that we can add to our household and steal their money. Ooh, those are some nice paintings, actually. Uh, some of them are clipping but it's fine. You know what? Cecilia and Victor both desperately need fun. Now, this is why they have a romance bar, but um, we do have an observatory out back, so let's just... Here, Victor, you can just take a break from your painting. Y'all go get your fun up. You know, it's just, it's a quick way to get your fun up. Tiana won't even notice. She's writing. She's fine. She's almost done with her book. <laughs> She's fine. Here, what? just uh, do some other stuff when you're done, Tiana. Don't go outside. Oh, don't take a steamy shower. That's just gonna make things worse. We'll just let these two get their fun up real quick. Well, all will be good. Really, Tiana should take a nap. Um, no, we're not gonna woohoo. We have enough of that. Uh, you can do some, a disco nap. See, look at that. Look at how fast their fun is going up. <laughs> and yeah, they're both pretty much full. They're fun, which is great. Um, I'm gonna have, let's see, we'll stock table. What do we, oh yeah, and then Victor needs to tin the table and then he can start a yard sale. Okay, we'll do that. Um, Cecilia, what are you doing? No, you don't need to be playing games. Why don't you take another gig? What? None of these pay that much. Unfortunately, Cecilia does not like writing and a lot of these things involve writing, like writing a report, which is not great. Does Victor have work? He has work in 13 hours. We do need to secure votes also. Okay, hurry up and finish this painting, Victor. Oh no, there's a vampire. Um, we're just gonna send you home. Please don't be here. Please go home. No, oh gosh. Hopefully she'll leave on her own. Okay, we're tinning the table. Uh, let's, yeah, let's mark up prices a bit. 100%? Is that okay? And then we'll start a yard sale. I don't know, maybe I should mark up prices more. I just worry no one will buy them. Who is this? Can you come buy my stuff, maybe? Oh, are you also a vampire? Don't know. Victor did not know her a second ago, and now they're like full friendship. That's how good his charisma is. Wow. I'm just hoping this will get up his um, fame. So I want to be able to talk to the famous people. Two okay, well, someone bought something. We got 2,000. Great. Another 2,000. Okay, well, they're buying stuff pretty quick. It's not bad. I don't know. This person probably doesn't have any money. Wait, 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 wait. Katrina Caliente? No, you do have money. I don't think we've stolen any money from the Calientes yet. No, Katrina, you don't get to leave, actually. <laughs> oh, Nancy, do we not know Nancy Landgrab? Well, talk to Nancy Landgrab. I don't think we've stolen the Landgrab's money either. We might have a nice two for one here. I don't know who Eleanor Landis is, but she also seems kind of rich. But she's biking away now, so. Okay, Nancy's still here. Good, good. Introduce yourself to Nancy. We have a good relationship with Katrina Caliente. Can we ask her to move in? Um, we're good friends with Nancy, too. Well, while they're here, we might as well give a sales pitch. But we do want... Want, um, to be able to ask both of them to move in. Oh yeah, I also need to secure votes. 
for jobs, so we'll secure a vote from each of them first also. We can also ask for bribes, although it's not necessarily needed uh, if we're going to steal their money by asking them to join our household. Oh, Jeffrey's here too. Great. <laughs> that is one thing about this like yard sale thing. It's a really great way to get Sims to come here. All right, when do I get the option to ask them to join my household? Like, it should be soon, right? Oh yeah, I do need to actually secure their votes. Have I done that? We did for Nancy. We secure a vote. Okay, we already did for Katrina. Oh, there's 16 paintings in here still? Seriously? Okay, we'll sell all of those. Here, we'll start this yard sale. Or in the yard sale, I mean. And then we can start a new one in a bit. Oh good, Cecilia finished her job. Great work. Yeah, you can talk to Tiana. Just as long as we don't have any flirting going on. I mean, might as well ask for a small bribe from Nancy, I guess. But like, oh, there we go. Okay, ask to join household. All right, so we're gonna do that for sure. We'll ask Nancy to join our household. Okay, oh, we got five. Oh, that was the bribe, right? <laughs> yes, we want to move in together. Okay, so they have 85,000, which is great. Here's the thing, the land grabs also have a very expensive house. So if I get all three of them and move all three of them into my household, I can also sell all of their lot furnishings. So I'm going to try it and see how much money we get. Um, yeah, it should be okay. 307,000. Well, we're getting close to a million, don't you think? Okay, now we're, um, oh gosh, wow, we're doing great. Okay, now um, Katrina Caliente is also here. Can we ask her to join our household? Because obviously I don't want the land grabs in my household. But here's what I can do. Yeah, we'll just move in together. Um, we'll take all of the Caliente's money. And then, but we do have to move some, transfer some sims. So we'll just transfer all the land grabs <laughs> into the Caliente's house. And um, there we go. <laughs> We'll get a little bit of money from that. Now I'm going to their house. I forgot about this. Oh, well, it's fine. I can go back. They have zero simoleons and all of them here. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, here's your new house. I mean, it's a pretty big house. They can all probably live there, right? Um, I'm going to go back to our actual Sims that we're playing with. All right. Well, um, this is actually going a lot quicker than I thought it was. Probably if I had been having Sims sell all their lot furnishings uh, sooner, we could have got, gone even faster on this challenge. But yeah, I, I thought it would take, you know, a couple hours to get to a million, but I've only been recording for 45 minutes and I've already earned 400,000 simoleons. So, wow, okay. Great, great work, Victor. Just great work all around. Um, I don't know if Cecilia ended up finishing eating. We'll have her do that. Not that, I don't know if any of this matters at this point, honestly. Now, my original plan, I did want to steal Judith Ward's money in her house. I don't know that we need to do that now, but might as well, right? Like, might as well see how much money we can earn. Maybe we can get to two million. <laughs> Victor does need to rest soon, but instead of doing like a yard sale, we could just sell all of these pictures the old fashioned way to try to get his fame up real quick. That would make it easier to talk to people like Judith Ward. But honestly, I think like one more sim day and we can probably finish the scenario. Tiana can go ahead and sell her new book to publisher. Um, and I guess you can just start writing another book because why not? Cecilia does need to take care of needs, so we'll just do that. Just gonna put all these pictures out so that Victor can sell them. Um, okay. And then, yeah, let's just, oh, yeah, sure. I don't really care what your book is called. Oh my gosh, I kind of, I kind of wonder if Victor, if we could earn enough money just by selling these pictures. Oh my goodness, we have like masterpieces and stuff. I really want Victor to get, a, go up a fame level, please. I just want, oh, there we go, a rising star. Okay, I have a feeling we'll be able to talk to Judith Ward now. Let's see. Oh yeah, see, that was the problem. I should have gotten this one earlier, this networking thing. It would have been more useful. Better at socializing with celebrities. I guess we'll continue selling some of these, so might as well. Rosebud. Wait, what is... Gain a million simoleons? Have I? Oh, I don't have it with me, but okay. <laughs> I have a feeling. Uh, I guess we spent some money on stuff. Probably if we just sold everything in our house right now, honestly, we'd have enough money. But I do... I want to go after Judith Ward. I think we can do it. I don't think it'll add that much more time onto this challenge, considering how we're doing. Yeah, I don't think we can get up another fame point. But yeah, now we'll just take care of their needs. Victor does really need to sleep. And then tomorrow, 
We'll see if we can call up Judith Ward. Let me see. Do we know her? I think one of the other ones knows her, right? Dang, we might have to get creative then. I thought at least one of them knew Judith Ward. Oh no, Victor and Cecilia both need fun again. <laughs> Oh, okay. They do get fun up a little bit while they're sleeping, but, you know, um, Tiana's kind of here. They can't really, you know, do that kind of fun. <laughs> My enemy Mila Munch passed away? <laughs> Is this a neighborhood stories thing? Probably. I don't know. I guess while we're here, let's check recent neighborhood stories. Derump Carusa forgot his winter clothes and became a popsicle. I don't know who that is, but all right. Mila Munch just died. Okay. She was milking it and got too close to a cow plant. Well, um, a dog was adopted by the Heckings. Having a new baby. There's an expert career? What is the expert career, huh? Brittany Cho died. Well, can't steal her money, I suppose. Man, there is a lot of deaths happening. I feel like it shouldn't be like every third one is a death. Mildly concerning. Okay, well, that's all. <laughs> we had like four deaths. While we're waiting for them, um, I did I did recently start a Twitch channel. So I, I streamed on Twitch for the first time the other day. My handle on Twitch is Simberling. I'll leave it down in the description down below if you'd like to go follow me over there. I'm planning to stream at least weekly and I have some fun ideas for it already. Um, I'll probably do more scenarios like this. I'll probably do some building. I might do some actual speed runs like in real time because I think to, to officially submit a speed run you kind of need to stream it. You need to have like a record of the entire time of you doing the speed run and not just an edited video. So maybe I'll try out some actual speed runs. Oh Tiana's a two-star celebrity now. I also had an idea for basically doing the 100 baby challenge but make it trans. <laughs> so like I would be playing as like a trans man doing the 100 baby challenge and then you know a lot of our partners could also be trans. I don't know. I thought that could be fun. Uh, it's probably not something I could do videos on the whole thing because the 100 baby challenge takes a long time but I'm thinking it might be fun to stream if you want to pop in and check it out and I might make some of this stuff into videos eventually if y'all are interested just let me know but yeah make sure you go and follow me over at Simberling on Twitch if you don't want to miss out on those streams. Ooh, look at all our crops. I don't know if we'll even need to harvest all these crops today, honestly. <laughs> I mean, even just doing that might be enough to get us over the million simoleon mark. I just really want to, I don't know. I just, I just really want Victor, let's see, wait, we're gonna take paid time off because we don't need to go to work today. I just really want to steal from Judith Ward. Is that too much to ask? I could do, what if we made a club? It's not cheating. It's like a little bit, it's like making things easier for us, but it's not cheating. Let's see, celebrity level. Yeah, there you go. That'll be easy to find her. <laughs> Let's also do, we can also do money. Um, financial status, wealthy. All right, now who do we have? Tiana is in that category. Great. All right, here's Judith Ward. I didn't know. Yeah, so Octavia and Thorne are both very rich and so are the Edos. I could have stole money from them too. We'll just add, we'll just add Judith for now. Oh, wait, no, actually, hold on. Wait a second. Um, so Victor, when he introduces himself to people, he can like become really good friends with them really quickly. But if they're in a club, they'll automatically be introduced. So actually, I'm going to have Tiana make the club. So we'll do the same admission rules and get Judith Ward in the club. We'll, uh, we'll name it the um, give, give me your money club. <laughs> And I think that's all we need to do, right? Club. I mean, we don't really need any club activities. So Tiana now knows Judith. I won't start a gathering just yet because she's probably asleep, but we'll start one soon. And then Victor should be able to introduce himself. Oh yeah, Tiana also has some more fame points, so I guess we might as well get some of this. <laughs> She's actually well rested, so why don't you come, yeah, why don't you come and sell your money fruit? I mean, why not? It looks like we'd only earned 4,000 from these lilies, which I'm kind of surprised about, but I guess go ahead and sell those also. Honestly, you know what, you two, Cecilia needs some fun. <laughs> we don't have anything else to do. Why don't y'all, just one last time, let's get a nice woohoo and, you know, why not? Oh, voting is open for neighborhood action plans. I mean, I don't think we really need to do that. I don't think we're going to be here long enough for it to matter. What in the... 
Marcus, why are you standing outside my house watching me woohoo? Excuse me? Okay, he can't really see in, but he he really was. He was looking straight at us. Like, Marcus, can you calm down? Look, we stole your money. You shouldn't you shouldn't be this happy about us. Oh, we're already at 945,000. Okay. I'll be happy at least. Maybe we should also be confident. It probably won't matter that much. Honestly, he has such high charisma. Like, we could do anything and Judith Ward would love us. It is getting close to winter, so there is the issue of I don't want them to freeze to death. That would not be great. All right, he's about ready. Tiana, why don't you start a club gathering? We'll just stay right here. Oh, good. Club members have been notified and they're on their way. Victor, why don't you go outside? Oh, perfect. Right on time. Hello. Hello, Judith Ward. Welcome. Welcome to our tiny home. Let's come. Okay, she is a she is a global superstar, but we're gonna try an introduction. We're gonna attempt an introduction. Hopefully it goes well. I mean, he has high charisma. It should be fine, right? At this point, though, I mean, Tiana could also also talk to her and ask her to join household, maybe. Hello? What? I can't take attempt an introduction now? All right. Well, all right, Victor, time to be in the club. <laughs> time to join the Give Me Your Money Club. At least that way we'll already know her. Um, oh. Well, that was easy. Okay, I thought it wouldn't work that well, but apparently it did. Now he's in the club. Look how good of friends they are. Let's brag about our tiny house. Um, we don't need to do all that. Let's use a little bit of charisma and then let's just take some pictures together, you know? Take a photo with Judith. I know you literally just said you didn't want to talk to me, but now I'm in your club. So we're like best friends. It's great. Um, Cecilia is taking pictures. Are you the paparazzi now, Cecilia? What's happening? What are you doing? What? Why are you scaring Judas Ward? Come on, Tiana. You don't need to do that. Oh, Tiana got some royalties. Great. Here, Tiana, tend to your garden. Just harvest everything. Oh, it needs to be tended, actually. Okay. Tend your garden and then sell everything. Victor's just gonna be getting to know Judas Ward. <laughs> and the reason I'm going after her, yeah, she has a good deal of money. Oh, she doesn't like Tiana. That's not great. She has a good deal of money, but her house is worth a ton. Oh, whoa, there, there's all the super selling. That was kind of cool. Her house is worth a ton. And since she's just one person, it's really easy to have her move into her household and then sell all of the lot furnishings. So Tiana, what are you doing? It looks like she's flirting with Judith. Can you not? Be cool, Tiana. Be cool. Oh my gosh. What are, why are you here? No, not this person. Can I make you leave? Please leave. I don't need you. I don't want you here. There we go. All right. Get your picture. Beautiful. How's our friendship? Perfect. Here goes nothing. Ask to join household. Judith, would you do me the honor of joining our household? Wow, she has a hundred thousand. Well, that's pretty easy, huh? Okay, and we'll also sell all lot furnishings, and I think we should have a million simoleons. I think we'll be good at that point. Yeah, let's see. There we go. Almost 1,500,000. Wow. Okay, look, look. This is not a bad speed run, I think. It took me 13 in-game days to get a million simoleons. And like, yes, there are ways that could like can get money fast, but they're usually by fast forwarding in-game days, you know, like they take up a lot of in-game days, like running a shop and stuff. I think 13 days in the game is pretty good. Let me know if you completed this scenario in less time, but you know, it's not, it's not bad. Uh, I might have to like I have to try doing some actual speed runs at some point. That could be fun. But yeah, for now, I'm pretty happy with this. I do want to get us all the way up to, you know, 1,500,000. I think we can do that. Let's see what they have to sell. We'll just sell everything. There we go. We're pretty close. Um, What do you have? Oh, we have pictures you can sell. Just sell all of that. Beautiful. All right, we're getting close. I mean, we honestly could just sell our house. I wonder how much is our house worth? Our house is worth 69,000. <laughs> so we could we could get a bit from that. I don't know that I want to just like demolish the whole thing. We can sell this real quick. You just sell this. We're close. We're, oh, there's that's where the paintings went. Yeah, let's sell those and there we go. Now we got that nice 1,500,000. So that means that in this video, which it took me like an hour to film, I earned a million simoleons total, which is pretty good. Pretty good. If I do save some myself. Um, yeah, I hope
hope you enjoyed this. Uh, give this video a like if you liked it. If you want to catch up on the rest of the series, uh, I'll leave a link to the playlist down below. Subscribe for more videos like this that hopefully won't take like multiple months to do um, a speed run. But yeah, either way, uh, thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun with this and uh, I will see you next time.